Hi, I'm Dee Kafari and I'm the skipper of Turn the Tide on Plastic in the Volvo Ocean Race. So I'm going to show you exactly what is in my kit bag. Most important for me is the base layer and I always try and wear natural fibre. So these are merino wool base layers and it's really important to have a natural fibre against your skin because you really don't want to get any skin irritations or rashes or get uncomfortable. It's important to wick away when you're getting hot and sweaty, but also keep your skin clean. So I have a top and my long legs as my bottom layer. Then we move up a layer and I wear a soft shell mid layer. This is important to keep yourself warm, but still allow the breathability. So a nice warm layer, long legs, a reinforced seat because you spend a lot of time on your bottom on non-slip on these boats. And a jacket with a bit more ventilation in the hot areas and to give yourself a bit more flexibility because you're moving around quite hard. In the top layer, you've got your HPX Pro. So you've got your foul weather gear, your trousers, which you live in, reinforced knees and a reinforced seat. And I always have a carabiner on mine so I can hook it up when I get those five minutes where I can get in my bunk. Good pockets for any safety gear. And you'll always find a knife. Attached to a very handy hook, so you're never gonna lose it, but it's always there when you need it. Jacket wise, this is probably one of my favorite items because it's got a seal to stop any water going in. And on these boats in particular, you get a lot of water over the deck. But for anybody that sails in high latitudes, it rains a lot as well. So it's really important not to get any seepage. So wrist seals and neck seals, really important you look after them, but it really makes it easy to put the jacket on and off and keep your protection. Get a nice big pouch of a pocket where you can put your snacks. For me, it's normally Haribo sweets but also some lips out. Got to be ready to say hello to people when you arrive. How do you keep your head warm is the duck hat. It's really toasty warm, especially on your ears, and it keeps your hair dry. Very important. Now your extremities often get quite cold and wet. So we've got some warm woolly socks for when you're putting in your boots. But when you take your boots off and you want to walk around down below, it's often quite wet. So what's really useful to have in your bag is a set of Gore-Tex socks. This allows you to pad around in the wet without getting your socks wet. Winner. And when you're driving for long periods of time and the wind is cold, a really nice set of warm gloves makes you able to stand there driving fast for longer periods. And at times your hands are going to get a little bit sore carrying things, moving the ropes. So a pair of sailing gloves, means that you can still carry on doing your job, holding ropes, moving kit around without getting any sore hands. So that's pretty much covered top to toe. But what if it gets scary? What if things get serious? Generally, you're going to want your dry suit. Now, people kind of regard this as a last ditch item. So when things have gone really bad and you're looking to get off your boat, possibly into the life raft, you'll want to put your dry suit on. But other people actually quite like it because it gives you really good flexibility and movement, yet you're sealed from top to toe in one item. So you don't get any of those joins by having trousers and a jacket. So it's personal preference as a sailor, whether you want to put this on when things get wet and wild out there, or whether you want to leave this as a last resort item. But one thing's for sure, you're never going to go offshore without it somewhere. And that's pretty much my kit bag. So you only take what you need, the only things I'd add to that would be a toothbrush and some sunscreen.